Hi right, guys, uh, M13 here, and yeah, you guys can't see Dick, sorry. Uh, I'll turn the light on, that's my living room. So it's been, I'm pretty sure it's been five weeks since my crash, um, maybe four, pretty sure it's five, pretty sure, five. Yeah, five weeks since my crash and uh my other video a lot of people say i'm on painkillers i'm not i'm just a little tired that's all because i'm making these videos at like two in the morning three in the morning it's uh one there's a clock it's one one forty i went to bed around midnight so i only slept an hour and a half and now i'm awake making a video which sucks because uh i you know I need my sleep, and I didn't take any naps yesterday, so I was awake all yesterday, and then when I went to bed at midnight, and now I'm awake an hour and a half later. I woke up to a mosquito, a mosquito on my face, because I'm wearing clothes, I sleep with clothes on, so. Um, it's cold, um, like outside it's like, uh, like 14 degrees Celsius, and the window's right next to me, like literally right next to me, so I get coldness coming in through there what do i have around my i have remote controls for the tv i have a shaver i have a house phone um i have a bedpan over there uh yes some you get, you get people asking like oh are you using a bedpan to piss and shit it's like why well, yes yes i am thank you for asking it's like i, I know people think it's interesting but it's like, could you be more tactful about it or polite? How about instead of saying, hey, are you pissing and shitting on your bed? How about saying, well, how are you going to the bathroom now? <laughs> kind sir. You know, just, I don't know, a little bit more polite. Thank you. Please and thank you. Uh, and then I got a, a mosquito racket, which I literally sometimes sleep with my hand on. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll fall asleep with my hand on it. And then when I wake up in the middle of the night to the sound of a mosquito biting my face I'll just kind of wave it around and if I get and a couple of times I've gotten lucky and just gotten the mosquito um yeah speaking of which I'm always looking for mosquitoes and then to the right here I have uh, tissues I got a uh, those are actually vitamin C pills um, what else is in there the, the remote control for the light that's on right now uh, and I got some painkillers in there um what kind of painkiller? I think it's called... Uh, I'm forgetting it. Hold on a sec. What's this? There you go. Tramacet. And I think the, 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 the ingredient is like Pharmadol or something like that. <laughs> Speaking of which... I've got six pills left, and I think I've got, like, six pills that are supposed to last me, like, eight days until I'm supposed to head back again. And that's not going to work, because uh, I actually tried to, st to stop taking them. Sorry. Yeah, I tried, uh, I tried to just, like, stop taking the, 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 the pain medicine. And, um, yeah, it didn't work. Uh, <laughs> this hand, this hand uh, ends up just feeling like it's on fire. Because cause, uh, it's not healed. It's like, uh, the, what they did was, see my middle finger? And then the, the two fingers that are gone. The two fingers that are gone and the middle finger, they're all one clump. They're fused together. They're sewn together, so it's one mass. I can't even, that's why it's all kind of bandaged up still. Um, I need to go back to the hospital, and the clump, they need to separate it to give me, to separate my middle finger to the two fingers, from the two fingers that are gone. The two fingers that are gone, I think I'll have stubs. Like, I think I'll have one joint. But right now, the, the two stubs and my middle finger are just one giant, like, L, reverse L of fused flesh and it sucks because for since the from the from the for five weeks i haven't been able to use this hand i can move my thumb but 
every once in a while I'll take um, this my middle finger here. Uh, let me see if I can show you. I'll take the middle. I'll put. I'll take my other hand and bend the fingers backwards. It's painful, but because these fingers are this finger, I can move a bit, and this finger that's as much as I can do. But I can't. This finger is I can kind of st straighten it out. This finger I can't because it's, my middle finger I can't because I haven't used it in so long. It's kind of like stuck in that position. So I have to take my right hand, grab that finger, and bend it around. It's painful, but just to keep it limber. If you don't move something long enough, it'll lock in that position, which is, you know, I'm worried about my right leg. My right leg, I can't move it at all. It's uh, I got a brace on it. I'm not allowed to move it because I, I broke the knee. I broke the right leg in three spots. I, bro I broke the femur twice, once like in, in the middle, once like at the hip, like it Bust the femur broke in the middle. The femur broke off in the hip. The hip didn't break, but the femur did in the hip, and the knee broke. And the knee didn't. I don't think the knee completely broke, or maybe it did. But anyways, he put screws in it to like hold it in place to let it to like heal. And he said, you know, you're not allowed to bend your knee. So I, I got a brace on, and uh, it's extremely painful if I do bend my knee, which is what was happening in the like three weeks after crash video or two weeks after crash. There's a video where I'm like in agony and I got like someone's wiping tears off my face. And a lot of people, a lot of comments in that video are like, yeah, that's just physical therapy. That's how, how physical therapy works. And you're all wrong. That was a nurse fucking up is what that was. It was the physical therapy person telling me to stand on my left leg. My left leg, I can actually move. There we go. It has no physical strength. Though. People are like, what? You can move your left leg? Wow, you can stand on your left leg. No, 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 I can't. <laughs> I would just collapse if I tried. It has like... <clears throat> like my son's left leg is stronger than my left leg. If if he were to lie on his back and to push down with his left leg on your hand, it would have a lot more force than mine. So so I can move my left leg, but there's no, it's, there's no strength. It, does, it can't support weight. And then my right leg... I can't move it at all. I haven't moved it since the accident. And then by the time I'm allowed to start moving it, it'll have atrophy to the point where it'll be weaker than my left leg and it'll also be locked in, in that position. So it'll take uh, months just before I can even move it like I can my left leg. My right leg is going to be months behind my left leg. So, yeah. Um, and this is kind of crazy because my, my left arm... There's nothing really wrong with it. Like they cut, you know, they cut some fingers off. Okay, whipped his shit. Like my hand's not broken, my arm's not broken. So you'd think cutting a couple fingers off wouldn't really affect my arm much. But my left arm has halved in size because I can't use it to do anything. So even though there's technically nothing wrong with my left arm, my left arm is still atrophied, just to right, pretty much the same as my legs have because of the fact that I can't use my left hand. It's I'm always just got it like placed on something, and then it's just always sitting there. Uh, I'm I've been exercising it for the last couple of days. Once I realized it'd been atrophying so badly, so I'll do like this, and then I, with my one thumb I like hook it on like a water jug or something, and then I like lift. I just do lifts with the water jug to try to get my arm. <laughs> it's yeah. Yeah, and then my, I guess my right arm is probably not atrophied much because I'm using it for everything. Atrophy, atrophy. It's not word a lot. Anyways, yeah, this video is getting too long. It's, yeah, well, no, it's okay. I can plug the phone in to upload it. Like, it'll kill the battery uploading it, but... Okay, that's it. I'm just letting you guys know. Um, I'm at home right now, uh, but uh, this and this sucks. I have to go back to the hospital to get the, the original doctor that did my hand to finish the job. And the hospital's five over five hours from my home. <laughs> and it's mountain roads. So I have to I have, I have to get loaded into like a van. And like the, the only way to do it is I'm lucky enough to have some really good friends in Taiwan that will do that for me. They're like, they'll load me into a van, drive for five hours straight to a different city, and then like spend the night in that city or whatever, and then head back here. So we're talking like a 10-hour drive just to drop me off at a hospital. And then people are like, well, can't you go to a hospital closer to you? And we mentioned that to the doctor, but he says he didn't recommend it because the next doctor won't know 
Well, like, it's because he's been doing the hand from the beginning, and he's halfway done. So it's, if, if you, if, it's like if you're going to a plastic surgeon and you're getting work done on your face, and they're, like, halfway done the work, and then you swap to a different plastic surgeon, they might know, you know, is this not recommended, he said. So we're like, okay, we're going to trust him at his word and let him finish what he started. And then that way, too, if something goes wrong, then you know who to sue, as opposed to if you go to, you know, if you do, if you get it done by two different doctors, both doctors will say it's the other doctor's fault. And that's about it. Um, I just started mosquito. Fucking mosquitoes. That's an air conditioner directly above my head. Luckily, it's also a heater. It's an air conditioner slash heater, so I can actually use that to warm up. Oh, the other day, man, this heater... Uh, this air conditioner is controlled by this remote control, and the remote control lights up and shit. And uh, I was, for some strange, there's, there's an electrical glitch where it it goes into a mode that I don't understand, and neither does the remote control. So what happened was I turned the heater on, everything's working fine, and then all of a sudden the remote control goes dead, just like it is now. It completely turns off, but the heater's still going. And the heater starts like kind of making this noise. It's building. And I'm just like, fuck. And I'm trying to turn it off. And the remote control is just like completely dead. No control, nothing. I'm hitting the power button, nothing. So this thing's just getting louder and louder directly above my head. I can't turn it off. Uh, it's done it before. In the past, what I do is, is I unplug it. But I can't reach the plug. And then I was getting scared. I ended up, like, uh, trying to phone my wife. And uh, she's supposed to bring the, her cell phone to bed with her, but she had forgotten. So I'm phoning her. I'm using the house phone to phone her. And it, her phone's ringing over there somewhere. I'm like, fuck. And then it's getting even louder. So then I start, I honestly think there's a chance it might catch fire or explode or something. So I'm yelling for her. And she just doesn't hear. And she's a pretty sound sleeper, I guess. So then finally, um, and then while I was yelling for her, it turned off. And I was like, oh, okay. And then like an hour later, it turns on for 10 minutes and then turns itself off. And then like, and then it was doing that like that continuously for the rest of the night. Like every hour or so, it turned on for 10 minutes, which which wasn't too scary. But for the first bit, it was going for like a half hour straight. And it was just getting louder and louder. And it was scary. So that's one little adventure I've had. <laughs> um yeah that's about it for now so yeah that's my current condition i have to go I'm, i still got another surgery to do at, at least one I, god forbid if it's more than one like fuck you guys if they're like oh yeah you got to come back in another two weeks 10 fucking hours <clears throat> for, for someone to drive me here and drop me off and leave like there's trains and stuff but i can't do it i can't do trains i can't do wheelchairs very well like, cause, because the problem with the wheelchair is, is that my right leg is is immobilized. It's got the brace, so it sticks straight out. So, like, a, a busy train station with people walking around and shit with me with a leg sticking straight out like that would be... If I had, if, if I could bend both my legs at the knee, then I could sit in, like, a normal wheelchair like that. And, yeah, like, sure, I could go to the mall, I could go to a uh, train station, whatever. But, no, 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 not like this. And then, uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm really, really, really thankful that you guys have been sending support my way. Like, I've talked to other people in my situation. I've, I've even talked to guys that are in my situation right now. A lot of people are writing to me on Facebook. And a couple, of, a few guys have, have written to me and been like, oh, I was in your situation last year. Or, and there's one guy specifically who was like, I'm in your situation right now. And um, most of those guys... There was another vehicle involved or whatever and then they got money from insurance or this or that so and and they said they said the same thing as me they're like when you're in an accident like this there's two things you think about number one is money and then number two is like your health and when will you walk again and this and that it's like it's like it's like when you're lying in the hospital the very first night you're not like, oh, oh, I wonder if I'll walk again. Oh, no. You're you're like, there goes all my money. There goes all. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you're thinking. There goes all the money I have now and all the money I was going to make for the next year. 
and I'm off to sell everything I own just to survive. And then, and then, and then when I finally am able to walk again, I won't own anything. So good luck, you know, getting back to work when you, you have to sell your vehicles, etc. And it's just it, like it's very, very, very um, defeating. It's like. So, and then you guys helped get me through that defeating part, you know, like, like, it's the first, it's, yeah, it's the first big struggle, it's just how will I even bounce back from this, is it even possible? And I have a chance now, thanks to you guys. And then, uh, what else? Um, yeah, oh, and then, oh, and this is crazy, man, my wife's been trying to care for me, and uh, she can't, she's been very strong stressed out she can't do it she can't do it and I told her she couldn't do it and she just she didn't believe me I'm like you can barely take care of a child by yourself because like this in the beginning like when I started doing my tours I would leave her alone for a whole like eight days while I would be touring it would be her and my son for eight days and she would be phoning me up during the tours and being like stressed out to the point where she was like having like mental breakdowns and I'm like, if you can't take a, care of one child, like she doesn't have a job, you know, all she has to do is take care of one child. And it's like, if you can't do that, you know, like, hmm, I could do it. You know, I could do it. She could go on vacation or go somewhere for like, you know, I can take care of my son, my dogs, and and still do YouTube and other work and shit. Like, I could do everything. Like, who, who couldn't, you know? Like, that's what that's what's called being a single parent is about. Like, there's billions of, there's a billion single parents out there, and they all do it. She couldn't. And then um, and then all of a sudden, when I had my accident, she's, she's taking care of me in the hospital, and she was pretty good in the hospital. She only uh, lost her temper once. And then, and then she's like, yeah, we've got to, you know, once we get home, it'll be easier. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It won't, because right now you're taking care of me in a hospital, and all you have to do is take care of me, and you're stressed. When we get home, you have to take care of me, and the dog, and our son, and you have to drop him off at school, and you have to do the laundry, and you have to do the dishes, and all this, all like half the chores that normally half the chores are done by me. So you're gonna have to do all of your chores, plus all of my chores, plus take care of an of an invalid person on top of that, you're like. I'm like, there's no way. And she actually, like, I actually told her, like, in the hospital that she couldn't do it. Like, it's, like, I know her well enough that she's, it's physically impossible for her to do it. And she flipped out. She, she got angry at me and, and saying that I was, like, negative and I was, fuck, lazy and selfish and just. And then I'm like, okay, I'm not just. And then sure enough, like, we get home and two days later, two days later, she's like, I can't do this. It's too much stress. And I'm like, yeah, well, uh, you know, like, I want to say I told you so. And she, I can't say anything because if I say anything, I just get yelled at. So I just got to sit there and like, it's, you know. So, yeah. <sighs> Long video. So, but anyways, oh, and then this is the amazing part. I had a friend of mine from from my tours, a, a, somebody who's done my tours, and then they they love Tai they love my tour and they love Taiwan so much that they decided to move here, and they're coming like in a couple of days, and and then I I contacted them and I'm like, do you think you could like come, and I let stay at my house rent free and help me out, and they're like, yeah man, no problem, so they're so they're gonna come in like two days and they're gonna take, they're gonna start doing my chores like around the house and then taking care of me on top of that and then my way my wife can just focus on our son and uh and then i had another tour guest from my tours a guy that was very quiet so we didn't bond as much as i do with a lot of my guests because he's just a very quiet guy he volunteered to come back and then i had a third guest volunteer and he's going to come like after that guy so i've got like for the next minimum i don't know i don't know for the next three to five months i have people like three different people lined up to care for me all volunteers all for my tours and i'm i'm just like wow that's awesome because i looked into a, a caregiver like a proper caregiver 
you got to get in a waiting list. And uh, for, for a legal one, it takes three months. <laughs> My wife couldn't last another three days. And they're like, yeah, you just got to wait three months. And then for an illegal one, like an illegal alien, you got to you still got to wait like a, a couple of weeks and you're on a waiting list and you got to get some documents and shit. You got to run around and get these documents. My wife can't get the documents, you know, like. Anyway, so, yeah, so I'm so, 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 so amazingly grateful and uh, thankful that I'm such an awesome person that my tour guests all love me so much that they want to like come out and wipe my butt like that proves how awesome i am like fuck i must be the nicest guy on the planet if people hang out with me for a week and then all of a sudden next thing you know they're like getting on airplanes flying around the world to wipe my butt no i'm just kidding they don't have to wipe my butt they might have to change my bedpan like they might have to like swap it out from under me because i can't i'm only i only have one hand but i can wipe my own butt Anyways, now we're getting into the TMI area again. Okay, guys, if you're still watching, thanks for watching. And I, I'm so grateful for you guys now. Like, jeez, if I, if I wasn't grateful before for my viewers, like, holy fuck, am I grateful for you now? I really am. Thank you, thank you.